Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing our MTG upgrades, looking at green card draw enchantments this time. So this is the second part of a four part green card draw series I'm gonna do. Also, you might notice I'm wearing bear pajamas. I'm uh, a little under the weather today. I woke up feeling kind of like I got a little bit of the flu. So I'm gonna try to take it easy today. It involves wearing pajamas all day, apparently. Uh, yeah, my son got me sick, I think. So anyway. Lots of fun. Mm. Hit like and subscribe. It really makes a big difference, especially with growing channels like mine. So what is budget? For this video, uh, it's $1 or less and I'm using the TCG market value, not a sponsor. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Mm -mm. A go-to. All right, so Garrick's Uprising, I look at it as like, this is like the First card you probably think of. If you want green card draw that does a bunch of other cool stuff, this is it. It's very affordable as well. Not technically part of my list though. Two and a green. Again, Garrick's Uprising. When this enchantment enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. So when it enters, it will draw a card if you control a creature with power four or greater. Very easy to do with green. Creatures you control have trample. Just everything has trample now. Mm. Oh, that's that's pretty good, right? Whenever a creature you control with power four or greater enters, draw a card. So it's gonna probably draw a card when you it, when you cast it. It's gonna draw a card, and then every time you cast another creature with power four or greater, you're gonna draw another card on top of having everything having trample. That's pretty good. It's hard to beat. It has been printed a lot, that's why it's only 37 cents. Number 5. Boot of the First Tree. Okay, so this is 3 and a green for this aura. Um, yeah. When the enchanted creature dies, you may gain X life and draw X cards where X is his toughness. Basically, uh, plant this on a creature that, like, has high toughness and then you're going to be able to draw a whole bunch of cards when it, you know, get, when it get, gets sent to the graveyard. Um, you can cast this on other people's creatures as well. So, uh, for instance, if you're about to use a removal spell on like their, you know, their big scary thing, cast this on it first, then the removal spell, gain a bunch of life and draw a bunch of cards on top of it, removing that threat. So there are ways you can abuse this, but again, for CMC, the casting cost is four. That's re the real downside on this one. The upside is that it's only 19 cents. Number four, Hunter's Talent. So this has a lot of overlap with Garrick's, Garrick's Uprising. I call him Garrup by accident. I don't know if that's a sickness thing, but anyway. <laughs> one in a green. So to cast this at first, it is actually cheaper. When it enters, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Basically, it's gonna be, you can probably use this as removal, right? You can automatically get that two mana for a spell that lets you like pretty much take out a creature, someone else's creature. Let's say it's worth it. You do need your own creature with enough attack power to take it out first. Again, green is pretty good at that. So this isn't something that's good you know, if you cast it first, but if it's like mid to late game, this really heats up. So it's a really good effect. Anyway, you can level this up also. Remember, level up is at sorcery speed. You can't just wait until like someone else's end set and then go, oh, now I'm going to do a whole bunch. No, it's got to be on your turn during a main phase. So one in a green, you can go to level two. Whenever you attack, target attacking creature gets plus one. Plus zero until end of t and gains trample until end of turn. Uh, uh, yeah, even if it's just one creature getting trample with a plus one damage, plus one damage, yeah, sure, why not? If even if it's just one creature, um, it it'll it'll be worth it, I think. Also, all right, if you pay three in a green extra, this is getting expensive. This is getting up to eight mana you're sinking into this uh one enchantment at the beginning of your end step if you control a power with, uh, sorry a creature with power four or greater draw a card 
So this is kind of better than Garrick's Uprising in that it um, it's going to trigger every end step. So at the beginning of every end step, you're going to pretty much draw a card if you have that creature with power 4 or greater. Garrick, it's only when it enters or when the enchantment first enters, right? So Garrick's Uprising is only 3, where to get this effect, you're going to have to sink yeah, 8 mana into this. So that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you're looking for like an enchantment removal, maybe this is the thing. The card draw option is pricey. Anyway, it's what's not pricey is that it's 23 cents. Number three, Equethal. Okay, one green, it, it, this is a lot like Fruit of the First Tree. So if enchantment, enchanted creatures put into any graveyard, draw two cards. So this is nicer in a way. First of all, the casting cost is only one. So that's better already. And uh, you get to draw two cards. It doesn't matter. You can put this on something with one toughness. You still get two cards, right? A lot of creatures are going to have one or two toughness that you want to take out anyway because they do annoying stuff. Um, make that into like more card advantage for yourself. Especially if you've got some kind of way to pull permanence out of your graveyard. Remember, this is an aura, so it is a permanent. If you can pull permanence out of your graveyard, which green is also good at, um, you can just keep casting this over and over and maybe have your card draw kind of sorted out for almost the whole game. I mean, two extra cards per turn is a lot. You get up to three cards per turn, if you can, especially if you can keep doing this. Anyway, 52 cents. Number two, Kenrith's Transformation. But this is kind of not even really about, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit putting this on. This is not about the uh, card draw option. But it's one to green for this aura, another aura. So when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. So you do get to draw a card, but it kind of just replaces itself. For only two mana, so a card that will replace itself, not that bad. Enchanted Creature loses all abilities and is a green elk with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. So this is the kind of thing you should have in just about every deck. I'm getting all... I've got this pear tea with honey that's really nice, especially if you've got a sore stomach. Um, this is pear tea, just awesome. Anyway, okay, especially if you're playing commander, right? A lot of commander decks are built like around the commander. Maybe too focused on the commander even. That's something I'm trying to do is move away from decks that are like, don't work without the commander. The thing is, of course, if you use removal, you just recast it. It's not that big a deal, recasting, right? It costs two extra mana. That's that's a downer, but mm, whatever, right? This traps it. This can just turn off the commander. This doesn't put it in the command zone. This traps it on the battlefield and takes away all of its abilities. Like, oh, oh, there's so many decks that just like, again, cease to function as soon as you do this. And this is the type of card I'm trying to include at least one one of in like most decks I'm making these days. Anyway, 92 cents only. Number one. Concord with the Kami. Three and a green. So what makes this really good is that, okay, you look at it and you think, oh, it's a modal where you're choosing one? Not really. You gotta read carefully. I actually, that's what I thought the first time I read it. At the beginning of your end step, choose one or more. One or more. So you can choose all three every end step. Draw a card if you control an enchanted creature. There's your card draw. You need an enchanted creature though. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature with a counter on it. So it has to have some kind of counter on it, but then you can put a plus one plus one on it. Very good for those. Again, green loves their plus one plus one counter decks. This is going to be right at home there, right? And finally, create a 1-1 one, one color sapling creature token if you control an equipped creature. So again, you need an enchanted creature and an equipped creature. Not that hard to do. 
and you can activate all three of these every turn. So every turn, put an extra plus one, plus one counter down, draw an extra card, make a one, one, yeah, sapperling. Every turn, you're going to be doing all three of those. Not hard conditions to meet, anyway. Uh, 19 cents. A list. Food of the first tree is 19 cents. Hunter's talent is 23 cents. Bequeathal is 52 cents. Canvas transformation is 92 cents. Concord with a cami is also 19 cents. All right, take it easy.